So this one's tricky because this is actually like, this is to the fourth root. So well, what you have to do is go like this, take it out of the root. This one would be 17 over four. Now we would need to get them to the same root. So we're gonna times this one by two, this one by two. So now we'll get two over four and 17 over four. Now that they're over the same index, then we can just go like this. Then we can combine it underneath. So it's to the 19. Then we wanna look for numbers that we can get out. So it has to be like M to the, has to be divisible by four. So I think 16 is the biggest one that we can do, right? So we break it up and then we could break it up even more. Oops, let's try this again. That if you need to, you can write it like, like this so you know that they are two separate ones. This one I can actually do, right? So 16 divided by four would give me four and this one would stay underneath. So this would be the answer, like that. It looks tricky because this looks like it's almost to, this is to the power, but it's actually the index here. Okay, the other one was 32. So 32. Remember that this one says to rationalize the denominator, which is just a fancy way of saying we don't want any of these radicals in the denominator. So we have to times it by the negative or its conjugate. What we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. I'm gonna just put the brackets around it so that it looks like a binomial times a binomial. Okay, and then here on the top, let's do this. So this five stays out. The five and the three underneath combine, so that's 15. Then we're gonna do five times five, that's 25. Then we'll do foil down here, right? Remember that this is a difference, so really you're only gonna get the first and last, but it'll be 25 the nine and then I'm not gonna do the middle but the this we would get negative oops I said negative and I wrote positive negative 25 then let's see if we can simplify it so 5 over 15 can't do anything to this one I can actually square root so that's 5 this one this becomes 25 times 3 this becomes 5 so now we have 5 over 15 plus 5 over 75 really, right? This is 75 minus five, so over 70. And then remember that you could write it like this. And then we can reduce it. And same thing here. So you could write it like this afterwards, or you could write it like this afterwards, either or is okay. And wait a second, let me check my math. I was dividing it by two. <laughs> 70 divided by five is not 35. 70 divided by two is, or by five is 14. There we go. That's better. Just making sure you're paying attention. Okay. So yeah, that's the answer. Remember that whenever you have like a binomial down here and it says to rationalize, you always times it by the conjugate, which is just the opposite. So fancy word for the opposite. Okay.